Thank you. Saying yes to this interview. Thank you so much for let me in. <laughs> You're oh. so pretty. You too. So, okay. Where are you right now? You're still in Indonesia? I'm in Houston already. Just oh, getting Houston. for some preparation before the competition. And, you know, especially I'm already here, but I can still feel the jet lag until right now. It's been like three days. Wow, that's amazing. So how are you feeling? Are you excited? Are you nervous? Like what's on your mind right now? I feel like excited so much because as you know, the competition like really in front of me after the whole year I've been waiting for it and don't know when it's going to be. And it's really in front of us right now. And I'm so I know. excited. <laughs> yes, you look so pretty. You're even more prettier on, on like right now virtually. Thank you. You are so pretty too. <laughs> so, so okay, my dear. So you are um you are five inches tall. Is that correct? Five five ten. Yeah. Five ten inches tall. If and I'm then, not mistake, it's like five eleven. In wow. Food, right? Five <laughs> yeah, five eleven, and then with heels you are six feet, right? <laughs> six feet tall. <laughs> yeah, so, that's okay. correct. <laughs> Yeah, so I heard like back in high school, your classmates are saying like, you know, making fun of you. Like, how how did that kind of affect you as a person? To be honest, when I was a kid, I was like crying many times because mm. I felt like it is a curse to me. Mm. But then after I found out that it can be a superpower for me because my height is like, you know, I can become a model. I feel my confidence after it. So... It is right now, I have in my own career, having my blessing, where it turns out the curse becomes a blessing in my Ex life. Exactly. And I am representing my country in the Miss exactly. Universe. Exactly. Who can ask more? <laughs> exactly, yeah. Like, what do you, uh, you know, uh, what can you say about you representing your country? How do you feel? I feel like it is an honor, you know, because... Among all the beautiful ladies, that they are also smart, having a lot of beautiful backgrounds. Right. I selected after my second try. Right. An opportunity once in a lifetime. So I want to do my best, not mm -hmm. only for j just giving a trial, but I want to give my best to get the crown for my country, the very first crown for my country. I, hope I know. So. I'm excited. Your fans are so amazing. Uh, Ayu, Ayuma, they are like, they are the most supporting fans. And then right now, look at the people who are watching. Thank you. Know, with you. Us right yes. Now. It's, it's about 2,600 2, people. Yes, 2,600 people. All from Indonesia, some from Thailand, some from Cambodia, and a lot from US. So what can you say to your fans right now? I just want to say thank you so much for supporting me since beginning because without you all guys, I will never be here and I don't have this confidence, I don't have this spirit to go my days and do my best until the, the end. <laughs> Wow, you're so amazing. Okay, I also heard that you are very passionate about fashion, right? So at the age of 15, you became a model. At the age of 17, you used that money to travel, <laughs> right? So what can you say about that? Okay, so first of all, it's actually start from 14. I don't yeah. know how come it comes from 15, but okay. yes, it's coming from 14. All right. And yeah, I was saving my money for traveling. Right. And it's amazing, you know, having the life as a model, but mm. I am also a student, make it all balance in one yeah. time. It yeah. is a hard job, but wow. as long as you have the patience for it, I believe everyone will, will do that and could do it because it is coming from your heart. And then for traveling, yeah, I love for traveling a lot, especially for my first traveling coming from my money, I went to Makkah. Oh, it's okay. like a, my spiritual program and okay. it was amazing journey, you know, having to balance them all between your spiritual things and having your life that is in a fashion. It's right. not possible, right? right and I exactly. feel like this is my message to everyone. If you want okay. to do anything in the world, as long okay. as you believe that you can do it, just do it no matter what. No matter what's your background or no matter what is your passion, you can do that. Especially now, it's also a Ramadan. So I just 
finished yeah. my breakfasting right, after right. 16 hours, if I'm not mistaken, in here in Houston. I feel like it's a blessing. Right, right. That's that's so amazing. I heard, yeah, you told me about your fasting. And also, um, another question is, you are so good at what you do. You know, you are a model. You're, you're, you reach a lot of, you know, things at the y- very, very young age. And I'm very, very proud of you. So now, what is the most memorable thing about traveling for you? Traveling? The most I never forgot is, you know, meeting new people, meeting oh. a new culture, having a new food that you never tried before. Right. You probably can get the food in your country, but you cannot get the street food directly, right? So <laughs> exactly, exactly. It's like the moment, like I've been waiting for every time I go traveling, just to try the new food and meeting all the new people. Especially That's amazing. In- different culture, different languages, and it's amazing, you know, we are united as one, we are the citizens oh. of the world, like, we are so, finally can meet up each other, and especially this is a Miss Universe competition, I will meet with, right now, 70 more girls around the world, it's yes. amazing, right? Yes, 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 I know that you will have a great time with them, because I already, uh, you know, interviewed a lot of them, and uh, yeah. most, of, most of them are very, very nice. I think you're going to have a great time with them. Speaking of Indonesia, uh, you know, Indonesia is one of the largest archipelago uh, with 100 different languages. And yet, despite, despite of this uh, diversity, your country is very united. Like, what is it about your country that, uh, you know, gives, uh, you know, the people, the secret to unity in your country? I believe it is our motto that we are having the words Bineka Tunggal Ika, which mm. means unity in diversity. Mm. It is the spirit that we are having all this race, we are having all these differences in skin color, languages, or race, or, you know, culture, even if it's so different between one province to another, one island to another, but we are one as Indonesia. We have the kind of spirit of you know, nationalism that is so strong, and I believe mm. that is what unites us as mm. a country, as a nation. And I believe this is some spirit that we should spread around through the universe, especially. Mm-hmm. Because at the end of the day, once again, I'm telling you, never stopping again, like, we are the citizen of the world. That's why we need to spread this peace and, mm-hmm. you know, having the tolerance one to another. Because we cannot live alone in this world. <laughs> yes, yes. Very, very well said. You're very smart. You're not only beautiful, but you are, you know, so you speak from the heart, which is very, very nice. Another thing, Thank they, you. Another thing is, uh, I like what you said about unity. It's, I think it's very, very powerful. It's not only, you know, going to inspire the people in your country, but also it inspires people all over the world. You know, you're... Your platform as a Miss Universe Indonesia is very, very powerful. I think, you know, um, you are going to inspire more people because of your beauty, because of your wisdom, and also because of your good heart. Another thing, I heard that you love spicy food. Yeah, right. <laughs> thank you. You yes, know everything yes. about it. <laughs> yes, I did my research for you because I'm so excited for this interview because so many people are like so excited they've been messaging me your fans so you eat can you can eat 10 20 or 30 peppers is that chili pepper <laughs> is that yeah, what it? true. <laughs> okay tell me more about that it's like you know i'm coming from a city called uh surabaya surabaya yeah okay. and all people in surabaya love spicy food so much oh. i can tell like even here I'm coming to US, I bring my own chili, so oh, <laughs> the people here you can try, but okay. they also always say like, it's so spicy, but to me it's like, no, it's not even it's spicy not, to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wow, so that, that is your culture in Subaraya, is that correct? Surabaya. Surabaya, you have yeah. to bring me there, you have to bring me and then you have to... Uh, 
uh, you know, have me taste your cuisine. But I, I don't. Will. I yeah, will. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so I cannot wait to visit your country. Hey, I have already been to Jakarta before. Oh yeah. In, yeah, in Indonesia, and I love the culture. I love the people. I think you know your people are one of the most hospitable people. Like when you go there, you yeah. seek help. People are like, you know, what what do you need? Uh, you know, everyone is so be is very very hospitable, and I'm very very happy that I was able to speak speak to you today. So another question is like, um, aside from eating spicy food, and aside from um, another thing about becoming the next Miss Universe, you also want to become a lawyer someday. Like, what made you uh, want to become one? Uh, to become a lawyer, it is something that coming from my heart mm -hmm. to studying law because yes. I like to speak, especially. But I believe that studying law is not about the rules. It's not only okay. about the rules. It's something that you learn how to deal with people with okay. the differences. People, I mean, like so many people with different mindset and right. how to deal with the situation, with the problem, to solve the problem, to looking for what is wrong and what we have to do. So wow. it is very challenging to me, and right. I just very interested to it, and I learned for it, and I, I'm happy, you know, that I can finish it all. Even I have my career, even wow. I have things, even if I have my life, right. and I hope one day that I can give pro bono to everyone. Wow! I'm a lawyer one day soon after this. Wow. Like I can't wait to spread the message that. Living by giving. Wow, look at that. That's amazing. You are not only beautiful from the outside, you have such a beautiful heart. And I think, uh, you know, people are even more, your fans, you know, are even more in love with you right now as we speak. I totally believe that. And then <laughs> what can you say to your fans? Speak, to your, speak with your language. Uh, touch their heart. What do you want to tell everyone who's watching right now we have almost 4,000 people watching this is unbelievable by far you know uh, most one of my most viewed live so far on instagram but what can you say to all the fans speak with your language makasih semuanya teman-teman yang udah nonton semua pageant lovers indonesia mohon doanya selalu buat aku biar bisa apa ya menjalani ini semuanya dengan lancar, dengan enjoy, dengan relax, dengan hasil yang terbaik untuk membanggakan Indonesia tentunya. <laughs> ah, that's beautiful. Everyone is saying heart. Everyone is typing your flag. So thank I'm so, you. I'm so proud of you, Miss uh, Miss Ayuma. I think I I cannot wait to meet you in Florida. I can't wait to see you too, Miss O. Thank you so much for this time. Thank you so much.